Hello, my name is John Burns from Final Cut Pro Classes in New York City, and today I'm going to show you on how to work the multi-clip feature a little bit in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to one of my drives and right-click it and make a new event to bring some footage in. I'm going to just call it John Multi. Okay, I'm going to say import files, and I have um, a two-camera shoot here of myself. One's a DV camera and one's a uh, Canon 5D. I'm going to go ahead and let it copy the, the original files over to the events folder, create the 422 media, and say import. So I'm going to import those clips then, and I'm going to highlight both of them and go file on the top menu, new multicam clip. I'm going to name it John Multi and use audio for synchronization which is really easy so you don't have to uh, have any kind of time code sync or manually pick points to sync by. I'm going to hit OK and it makes a new multi-clip in the event library with this multi-clip icon. Um, I only see the first angle right now because I have to open up my angle viewer so I'm going to go ahead to this tiny little arrow on the right here and I'm going to say show angle viewer and that will pop up so now when I mouse over the clip with my skimmer on, I can see both angles of the clip simultaneously. When this yellow button is on, you're actually switching both audio and video to the angle that you're clicking on. So as I switch over, as I pick ins and outs here, and I'm putting things in the timeline, um, I'm getting the audio and video from whatever angle I'm on. Now if I have good audio on only one angle, and let's say that was the first angle, I would click it, and then in order to have the audio stay where it is, I'm gonna click this little button which enables only video switching. So now if you notice, I'll click the second angle, and the green around the frame tells you that audio is being taken from that angle, and the blue tells you that video is being taken from uh, the other angle. So as you see, audio will now only be taken from angle one and is locked in to angle one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a project here. And uh, I'll just call it, again, John Multi. Okay, and that opens up a timeline. Uh, a couple ways you can work a multi-clip. You can cut it conventionally, in and out, pick your angles, uh, and put them in the timeline piece by piece. Or you could actually um, put the, a, a big chunk of the clip in the timeline, which I'm doing now. And you'll notice as I scrub through the timeline, I can see all my angles moving. If you play a multi-clip in the timeline, I'm going to go ahead and turn my skimmer off while I'm in the timeline, so you just have one playhead. So if I'm playing my, you go further up. my multi clip, I'm going to go ahead and mute it. As it plays, I can go up to the angle viewer and you'll see the little razor blade icon. If I click another angle to switch to video, you can see that in the timeline it's making the cuts. Every time you click another angle, it cuts to that angle. Through my, my multi-clip, I'm switching angles as it's playing. And as I stop my timeline, I can see the separate cuts one of the clips and you go up to the angle viewer, again you'll get the razor blade. So if I click this, the angle switches to the right of the playhead to that angle, cutting the clip. When you want to switch an angle on a whole clip, you can just put your playhead anywhere in the clip. And if you hold the option key down, you'll notice that you don't get a razor blade anymore, you get a little hand. And when you click another angle, what it does is it swaps out the whole shot that the playhead is in to the other angle. So it doesn't make a cut, it actually just swaps the whole shot out. Um, so as I go through the angles, if I want to actually swap this shot out, I would hold the option key down and switch the angle. Thank you, and if you're looking for customized one-on-one -on -one training, please visit our website at finalcutproclasses.com. Thank you.